In this video, I'm going to be showing you three easy projects using this one stencil. So this chalkboard, I believe I just got from Home Depot a while back. Go ahead and fuzz your transfer. So all you have to do is just place it on a towel a few times just to remove some of that sticky adhesiveness to make sure it doesn't stick too much on your chalkboard. Then just squeegeeing on this brilliant white chalk paste all throughout the stencil. Make sure you have everything covered up and then go ahead and just peel that stencil right off. And that's the first one, easy peasy, and it is super cute. Then you wanna just wash your stencil with some cool water and a disinfectant wipe and then just reuse it. So this next part, I am using this old cabinet door. I am painting it with Waverly chalk paint in the color Mineral, which is just a very light gray chalk paint. And then let that dry and then just going around it with some Waverly chalk paint in the color Elephant, which is a darker gray chalk paint and just doing some dry brush method all throughout and let that dry. And then go ahead and place the stencil down. For this, I'm only focusing on the bunny. So if you need to cover up the stencil with some blue painter's tape so you don't get your paste anywhere that you don't want it to be, go ahead and do that. And then I'm squeegeeing on their black chalk paste. Go ahead and peel that up and look at how cute the bunny is. Then I'm just using the bottom part where it says bunnies, carrots, and chocolate, just right at the top of the sign, squeegeeing on that black chalk paste. And then for the bottom, I did end up adding some lamb's ears, carrots, and some white peonies. And then I also used the border of the stencil on the border of the sign. Look at how cute that is, I love it. And again, you wanna just wash your stencil before you use it for the next project with that cool water and a disinfectant wipe. This pillowcase I got from Hobby Lobby, I'm just gonna go ahead and iron it first just to make sure that there are no wrinkles. I do put something sticky inside. You could find these sticky mats off of Amazon. Smooth it out, make sure all the wrinkles are out. Place your stencil right on top, smooth it out, make sure it is completely adhered to the fabric. And this part, I am using their permanent black ink. So again, just using my little squeegee, squeegeeing on all the openings of that silkscreen transfer. Once I have that completely filled in, you wanna just carefully peel off the stencil, make sure that there's no ink on your fingers, otherwise it's going to get onto your fabric and you don't want that to happen. So go ahead, let that ink completely dry for about 24 hours, and then just go over it with your Cricut heat press at 305 for 30 seconds, or you could use an iron with no steam for three minutes, and you wanna just do both sides of the pillowcase. Once you have this heat set, you could wash it, do whatever you need to do with it. This ink will not come off. And there you go, guys. I hope this inspires you. Link is in my description of the video. And I hope you have a good day. Bye.